It wasn't supposed to be this way. No! Hi besties, Future Maya here. I just wanted to hop in to give you a heads up and a warning of what's to come in this long video. Crying, crying, screaming, and more crying, and a little bit of laughter. This video is so dramatic. I am so dramatic. I've never really seen myself cry this much, and it's utterly hilarious, and I hope you guys find it funny because I find it funny. So it's okay to laugh at my tears, and it's okay to call out how crazy I look because editing this, I know, like, and I'm dying of laughter just the same, but in the moment, I was traumatized. But I wanted to put this video on the internet, not only because I think it's extremely funny, but normally this is stuff that, like... I just go through alone and I don't really like experience it fully like I'll give you guys glimpses but I don't really experience it fully on the internet I think this this video like on a little bit of a deeper level is just like a representation of how like yes these books to a lot of people to a lot of freaking people are just silly books with like dragons witches and like you know shapeshifters and like people just won't get it and they'll like it and, you know they'll vibe with it but they won't get it and i think there's definitely like a lot of people out there and i wanted to share this on the internet to kind of just reach out to my besties that feel the same way where it's like sometimes the world is just way too real and it's too heavy and like you feel like you're like where do i go these silly goofy books that like are so far from like anything that we experience is like the only thing that feels like a good escape you know and it's always been that for me, like, for my... Why am I crying? See how dramatic I am? It's always been that way for me for, like, my whole life. And I've always known I'm dramatic about it. But at the same time, I've always known that this genre, like, the fantasy fiction genre, has saved me countless of times. And I'm so grateful for it. I'm so grateful for the authors that write it. And it's why I also want to be an author that writes it. Because it's, like... It means so much more. So, I don't know why I'm crying. But yeah, so to my besties that feel like this world is just way too freaking real, bro. And it's so annoying and it's so heavy. I feel you and your need to dive into a little fantasy book. Okay? So, with that being said, let's get into the vlog. thing to ever touch the internet we're going to war besties we're going to war <laughs> compose myself now if you've come here this is an all things reading blog we will be reading we will be talking about the reading and we will be discussing the books oh wait don't <laughs> the books okay completely spoiler free i will not be spoiling anything but what you can expect from this week because i'm hoping it'll only take me a week but i don't know, I don't know, I don't know. what you can be expecting from this week is tears laughter giggles smile kicking my feet and wailing and screaming trauma but no spoilers You'll just be here to watch my reaction, and I, I, I find that my reaction to books are quite entertaining. But we're here. I've been waiting for this moment since birth. Since birth. I think fate, fate has driven me here to this exact moment. If you're new here, hi. I'm Maya. I do a lot of things on here, but today, I like to read. <laughs> today, I will be reading. All right. And if you're not new here, then you've heard in multiple vlogs for the past five months of my life, me discussing the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. Let me say it again. The Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. It is an eight book series if you count the prequel book, which you should. And 
it is beyond a masterpiece. It is a work of art. If I meet Sarah on the streets, I would actually tell her, you are a genius of a woman. You are a genius of a woman. And I don't know where you got them geniosities, but you got them. I've been reading it for the past five months and I have recently, last week, completed Queen of Shadows. Should I get the... Talk about this book makes me all over the place. One second, I, need to, I don't know why I didn't get the other book. I don't know why I didn't get it. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So, now if you watched my last vlog, um, hopefully it's my last vlog, I completed Queen of Shadows, which was the fifth book in the series, again, if you're counting the prequel, and tore me to shreds, ripped me up, tore me apart, ripped my heart out. I'm, I was depressed, still am a little bit depressed, wanted to vomit, everything, all of the feelings. So, finished that last week and immediately, immediately went into purchasing the final three books in the Avengers Endgame. We're in the Endgame, y'all! I mean, these two are probably, in, these two are, I consider, Infinity War, and then this one will be Endgame. I'm all over the place. Why am I not discussing? What is there to discuss? I made my caffeine. I don't need caffeine. I'm gonna be sitting down. I don't need any caffeine, but... I made it. So now it is time to get into the last three books in this series. Now, before we get started, I want to give my emotions to future Maya as current Maya because I know future Maya is going to be heavily impacted. There's going to be a lot and I want to speak as Maya pre-finishing this series because I think I will be a changed woman and um, I don't think things will ever be the same. This is my favorite series. And I haven't even finished it. Okay, it's, it's my favorite series and I haven't even finished it. And I just want to say, read it. <laughs> read it. Read it. Read it. It's so good. Read it. The first things we will be tackling are Tower of Dawn and Empire of Storms. Now, why I'm holding these, why are they two different types of paper? I hate that for my life. You see how this one's a floppy and this one is more stiff? And then this one's more brown and this one, anyways, whatever. Tower of Dawn, Empire Storms. The reason that I'm holding these two together and the reason that they stand together like this is because the girlies should read these in tandem for multiple reasons. A, it's a beefy girl. It's, it, these are two beefy girls. I think this is probably like, you know, 600. This might be close to 900. I don't know. Cause this one was what, 600 something. So if this and this, so this is probably like a 600 page book, right? But then, I don't know, I don't know. It's gonna be a lot of pages. I'm probably, in total, it's like over 1,300 pages, probably. And you can read them in tandem because they take place at the exact same time in the story. So within the story, if you've been following along on our girly pop, it's taking place at the same time, but just on different continents, okay? So that's, well, I don't wanna say like that's the reason why it's split up into two books because honestly, I don't know why. I mean, maybe when I'm reading it, I'll figure out why it needed to be its own separate book. But Sarah has been writing in literally like nine different POVs within these books. And I'm like, you couldn't have just made this another POV. But I'm like, I guess we needed 700 pages of its own book. But this one follows one of our side characters. Should we be, do I, do I say names? Do I say names? If I say names, is that a spoiler? No, it's not. It says it on the freaking back. Okay. Anyways, this book follows Kale, okay? I don't know if I say his name right. I don't care. His name is Kale. Like, like the vegetable. He's Kale to me. Kale. Like lettuce. Kale. This book follows Kale and his new friend, Nezrin. I don't know. She seems cool to me. She gives me the vibes of the girl from the Shadow and Bone. No, no, no. The Six of Crows series. Even though I've never read that series, but I don't know, for some reason I picture at her as that. I picture her as that. But this follows Kale on his journey through the southern continent. And a lot of people discuss how they like, literally this is the worst thing in existence. They hate this because they hate Kale. Now, along my journey, okay, reading five of these books, I understand the hatred for Kale. I'm just indifferent towards Kale. I, I, I... I'm indifferent towards him. I think the bull crap that he did in Queen of Shadows was irritating, but it added to the drama. Cause I just, I was just like, shut up. But I liked being able to say like, shut up. But without our main galley there to like bounce off and like put him in his place. Like I feel like he's just 
running rampant on his stupidity so i'm a little bit scared for this this is the book with our like main core group on their continent and then like that's that vibe so yeah everybody says this is phenomenal amazing and everybody hates this so oftentimes people read them in tandem to make it more digestible because if you read this and you finish this in this like masterpiece and then you have to get into this people find that they just cannot get through it which like i could see that happening a whole thick beefy thing of this and it's just kale i can see that happening so you read them in tandem go back and forth and basically that just means like oh it'll be like oh chapters one through five read this then stop then chapters one through two read this and then switch and you're basically just switching back and forth so it's basically just one big book in my opinion is there anything else that i have to say they also say that you should do it because this one leaves off on a cliffhanger and then going into this after this cliffhanger is like oh because then you just want to get into kingdom of, king, 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 kingdom kingdom of ash yes it's currently sunday i'm really hoping that by wednesday the latest that i could finish this tandem read because babes <laughs> babes look at the size look at compared to my head look at it this is like 980 pages so basically an 1000 page book now the thing about this is that i'm very particular about this series i'm virgo so i'm very perfectionist about my things i don't like my things being messed up so i really love these covers and i want them to be perfect and i know that if i read this 900 page freaking book on the physical copy i'm gonna crack the spine and it's gonna make me really really upset so amazon prime day <laughs> how long is this clip this is a 10 minute clip whatever this is what you're here for babes amazon prime day is on the 11th which is coming up soon i don't know when it's either it's either tuesday or wednesday it's coming up soon and i will be purchasing a kindle okay i will be purchasing a kindle i don't know if i don't know anything about kindle unlimited how that really works but i hear all the girlies talk about it but hopefully this is on kindle unlimited but i kind of was searching and i don't think it is but yeah i don't think it is so if i have to buy it on kindle i guess i'll do that like i guess it's worth not having to like mess up this book before i can even re open up and read the book where's my phone i have to tab off i don't know what tabs i'm gonna use of course they're gonna like match colors i'm gonna tab off the pack the chapters where i have to switch back and forth and honestly you could just look up tower of dawn and empire of storms reading order that's what i did and i found like the first one and it just has it all printed out and then i made sure because i didn't want to just use one and then like other people are doing different ones but it seems like everybody is pretty much following the same type of order so honestly i think anyone that you find will work out fine legs and then the front legs are their wings yeah which is what defines the two species that don't actually exist in the world <laughs> yeah, i know right now right what's interesting though is the whole time i've depicted the wyverns i guess as those dragons from i know from game of thrones <laughs> nerve-wracking this would be to do while trying to not see spoilers like i'm literally just trying to find the big number of the chapter i wish they had done it by a page number <laughs> i mean breaking i wish they had done it by a page number because like i'm just like really trying to not see spoilers because she's like you know breakable yeah and she keeps showing up in like slinky lingerie yeah. and trying to yeah. break it down doing this i got like three tabs in two tabs into this one i'm just not 
doing it because I'm just really nervous about seeing a spoiler and it's just like, and then it's getting confusing because I'm like, I was tabbing it wrong because I was like tabbing it, the chapter when I should have been tabbing the chapter after because you read the chapter. I'm just like, I have my phone on me at all times. I'll just like check it after like a chapter. Like it's not going to be like that deep to just pick up my phone, check it after I read a chapter and make sure that I don't have to switch. So I'd rather do that and then maybe like once I finish it and I already know what's going to happen and for like future Maya when she wants to reread, then she can tab it. But babes, I'm not ruining my happiness just to do this. So yes. It's time to get into it. It's time to get into it. I'm definitely gonna need a lash appointment after this week because these are about to fall out. I'm like a sweaty mess. I think we're separating. I hate separating because then we're separated. Fuck, we're separated. It gives me so much anxiety. It's like in a horror movie when like the group splits up and they're like, I'll go this way, I'll go this way. No. Why would, no, stick together, stick together, Jesus. Morning besties. Oh, it's the afternoon. It's 1.42, about to be 2 o'clock. I don't know if I'm ever gonna look presentable during this vlog. Like, I really could have stayed in my pajamas. That's normally what happens when I go in hibernation mode. Like, I just stay in my pajamas, stay in my bonnet. But I figured since you guys are here, I should at least try to put in some effort. But this is as much as you're getting, and I don't know if it'll ever change. I just had some breakfast because I immediately woke up and got back into it, but then one o'clock came and I was like, okay, I'm hungry, let me stop for breakfast. I've been eating instant grits, like not too much, but like I, I saw it in my grocery store and I was like, mmm, grits, I haven't had that in a while. And I feel like it's probably like an insult to all Southerners eating like instant grits, but I like it, I kinda like it. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm ready to get back into it. <laughs> This is all we're doing. This is all we're doing. I, um, this morning I woke up because last night I was gonna stay up. I went to bed at like 12 something, which like, you know, I could have stayed up to like one, two, but I was deciding that I was getting a little bit too tired. And sometimes when I'm tired, I just don't pay attention to things and I miss things. And I got to the point where I needed to read three chapters in this book. And I was like, I will not be able to make it through it. So I just went to bed and I was like, okay, first thing in the morning, I'll wake up and read this. And I'm glad that I did that because honestly, you guys, I'm not hating this book. Like I'm not hating it. And I think I'm grateful for it. I think it's only good if you read it in tandem. Okay, if I read this, if I read Empire and, right? Cause it's Empire first and then this. If I read this and then I read this, I would absolutely not be able to make it through this because it's just like, A, it feels like, and I would feel like I'm repeating the events that occurred in this because they talk about things that happen simultaneously, which I guess is why 
the tandem breed is even a thing because it's not just like oh yeah these are happening at the same time on a separate continent like the characters still know what's going on with each other on the other continents so they talk about it so like if I just read this whole book finished it and then went in this whole book and had to hear them talk about everything that already happened in this whole book I'd be like bruh what so the only way to read this is in tandem I don't think there's any other way to read it if the only way to read it is in tandem and I enjoy it because as much as I'm like oof when I have to like switch out from this book into this book I'm starting to enjoy it more because I appreciate the calmness of it this book has already started giving me anxiety i'm how many pages in i'm already 112 pages in i'm on chapter 11 about to start chapter 11 and i'm already like i had heart palpitations already like i'm already like what are you trying to do to me like they split up our group and i'm just not like i have odd i have anxiety so then when i come to this book this sunny little southern continent and it's just like kale and you know a bunch, of, a bunch of new people that i'm not necessarily attached to and it's kind of just like you know i'm just learning new things it gives me a moment <laughs> to decompress and to rest which i don't know if that's just because it's like the beginning of this book and it's gonna there's gonna be some like crazy stuff that's happening but i don't nothing's gonna give me as much anxiety with what's happening Oh, oh. but yeah so I'm not hating it and I really rocks with Irene you know what I'm saying I think already I rocks with Irene Irene is melanated I didn't realize but if you know you know I always have to check fan art like I I really I think sometimes I skip over descriptions of characters because I'm like I don't care what color your hair is I don't care what color your hair is or the color of your eyes I don't care so sometimes I skip over that but then the biggest part that I try to pay attention to is skin color because it means a lot to me. It means a lot to me when I have a fellow, you know, a fellow person. But sometimes the way that white authors describe people of color and black people is just really confusing because they don't want to outright say like black. She was black. Which is like to each their own. You know what I'm saying? That's Leave that for the black authors to, to, to do black characters justice. But I looked up Irene's fan art. And she's a melanated queen, so I'm rooting for her, okay? And I'm just here for her vibes, you know what I'm saying? She's a vibe right now. She's a vibe right now. chapter 10 of Tower of Dawn and this chapter is really boring <laughs> it's just like a lot of information that I feel like is probably gonna be really important so I want to pay attention but it's like putting me to sleep and I saw somebody say that to get through Tower of Dawn they like listen to the audiobook of it which like I think I could do but at the same time like I feel like that's not gonna make it any better and I'm just like not gonna pay attention to the audiobook but it's a little bit slow but this is my last chapter until I like, switch back and then I don't know how many chapters I'm in in Paris Storm Tour <sighs> I'll make it through I'm definitely like skimming <laughs> Which isn't the best, but like, it's just so much information. This is probably like literally 700 pages of just information. That I don't necessarily, like I know I probably need it, but do I want it? I don't think so. I'm breaking my hibernation rule and I'm leaving my home. Because I'm going out with my friends tonight just for like dinner. So that's at 7.30, so I probably have to leave here I don't know at some time let's get back to it I feel like I need a snack but that's I don't know okay guys I got ready I had no time to talk to you guys I called my uber it's one minute away I need to go I need to go I'll update you guys later but yeah 
Welcome back, whores. It's another day of hibernation. I am, in fact, wearing the same exact mother freaking outfit, and I do not care. I do not care because the only thing I did in this outfit yesterday was sit on my couch and on my chair and read. So, realistically, why do I need to put on a different outfit? So, leave me alone. It's Prime Day, so it's time to buy my Kindle so that it can come... It says tomorrow, so I'm gonna order it. Hopefully they don't lie and hopefully it comes tomorrow. I can put Kingdom of Ash on that. I still don't know if Kingdom of Ash is even on Kindle Unlimited. I'm putting everything in my cart. I wanted to get, I'm getting the Kindle Paperwhite 2023 because that's the one I just looked up on TikTok, like what Kindle to get. People said that one's good. I wanted to get it in the green color because I green's my favorite color, but it's not gonna come till August 2nd. So I'm like, okay, priorities. Priorities, I could put some cute stickers on it and not even see the the black. I'm getting it with the three months free Kindle Unlimited. How much is Kindle Unlimited once it's not free? Let me look that up. One second, because... Okay, it's $10 a month. All these subscriptions in my life, all of these subscriptions in my life is just, a, it's a lot, it's a lot. But anyway, so I'm getting it with the three months free Kindle Unlimited and then I'm getting eight gigabytes. There's eight or there's 16, but I heard someone on TikTok say you only need eight, and then I looked up on Google, like, is eight gigabytes enough? They said eight gigabytes is equivalent to 6,000 books. Yeah, <laughs> eight gigabytes is enough. And then I'm getting it without ads because I'm a little bougie. It's like $20 extra without ads, but like, I don't want ads. That's gonna ruin my life gonna ruin my life oh my god i need a charger oh um oh my god wait <laughs> so much stuff okay 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 i've got everything in my cart i have my kindle paper white eight gigabytes 31 percent off prime day deal so it's 109 bucks i have the charger and then the clear case and i'm trying to decide <laughs> if now would be a good time to get the other covers for the throne of glass series real quick because i feel like there might be new girls here that don't know what i'm talking about but real quick to explain here is my throne of glass section so i have the entire box set of the whole series with the old covers right but then i have some of the new covers here um because i started liking the new covers so now i don't have all the new covers for like the books that i read already before i started liking the new covers so like i need to buy them which ones am i missing i'm missing throne of glass crown of midnight i'm not missing assassin's blade but i'm when i got that version of assassin's blade one second one second when I got like this version of Assassin's Blade, this was when I was first like really upset that they changed the covers. So I had no care at all for this book and I kind of like beat it up. So I'm like, maybe I should get another one of these as well. But that just might be irresponsible with my money. Maybe I should just get the two of them. I was trying to figure out if all books are on prime sale. I think they just have different levels of the sale. Like one of the books that I saw is like 45% off, which is crazy. But the paperback version of Throne of Glass is only 33% off. But I still think that might be a good deal and I should just get, I think that might be a better, I think it might be good for me to just do it now when it's cheaper because in the long run, I'm saving money, right? The paperback version right now is $12 and it's normally 20. I'll get that. I won't get Assassin's Blade yet. That's just too excessive. I'll get that and then I'll get Crown of Midnight. I was like, maybe I should get Akatar, but I think that's going to be for like a whole different thing because I know after I finish this series, I, I, I'm i going to want to get into Akatar. I don't think I'm done with Sarah J Mass. I think I'm going to be on like a Sarah J Mass like hangover and I'm going to need more of her. So I think Akatar will be started this summer. I probably need to give myself like a two week break before like jumping into like something so committal again. But yeah, so I'll just wait. Once I finish this whole series, I've recuperated and all that stuff, and then I'll buy Akatar and we'll get into all of that. Cause I'll probably film that as well. I'll probably film my first reaction to Akatar. Oh my god, my cart is expensive now! Ugh! What? 
What? What? No, are we actually? What? What? Stop, stop, stop. I can't see the page, bitch. I can't see the page. Stop crying. Stop it, 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 stop it. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. POV change, I'm going to be livid. If you switch me to someone else's POV right now, I'm going to be livid. Oh. Yes, okay, we're still, okay, okay, let's continue. It's supposed to be two o'clock, it's 1.30. I need to make breakfast, I need to eat. I am on chapter 17 of Tower of Dawn and I have to go back into Empire of Storms. I feel like I've never had to like do like talk to you guys while I'm like in my mode of reading because I feel like I have no words and it's just like my brain is quite scattered and my energy is zapped from my emotions and my tears. That that I wear reserves chapter like the way that was crazy. That was crazy. I think Kale is growing on me. Mr. Lettuce is growing on me. I forgot like my feelings about him in like Crown of Midnight. I think I was like always Team Kale. You know what I'm saying? Like when it was like Dorian Kale, I was Team Kale because he was, you know, you know what I'm saying? And then it just went. But he's growing on me and I just, I, I, I feel him. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel his pain. Like I feel the sorrow. Like I, I get you, Kale. Like I, I understand and I empathize. Oh, like I'm just, <laughs> I'm like not, I'm not coherent. I'm not, I'm not all there. <sighs> like there's tears on my glasses. I can barely see anything. It's too much and I have to jump back into that. I have to jump back into Empire Storms after, oh. And everybody says it gets worse. Everybody says it gets worse. And I'm like, what do you mean? Nothing could be worse than what happened in Queen of Shadows. Like, You're gonna regret saying that, babes. You're gonna regret it. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, anyways. What am I gonna make? I think I need some protein and I don't feel like having a boiled egg. So I'm gonna do this Trader Joe's quiche. I love their little, do I have this one? No, 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 I ate the spinach one. I like these little quiche thingies. I don't know, I'm a quiche stan. Preheat oven to 400, okay. 
I don't know. I got a bunch of like unhealthy foods when I went to the grocery store. So I got like, you know, French toast sticks, Eggo waffles. So I could do that or I could do some grits again. And I was like, I should have gone to the grocery store to get snacks, but honestly, like, I don't think I really need snacks. It's going to be really unhealthy for me, and I should try my best to, like, you know. I already skipped the gym today because I was like, I just want to get up and get started and get going. We got ground to cover. It's, it's already Tuesday. It's already Tuesday. And, okay, so, basically, Raina, my roommate, is currently on vacation and I wanted to take this time to like really get the reading out because I don't want her to be traumatized by my trauma so I wanted to be able to finish the series while I'm here alone and can like scream and wail without traumatizing my roommate who doesn't deserve to be traumatized by my depression like nobody does so yeah but I don't know if I'll be able to finish in time and I also don't want to rush my process so whatever happens happens but like also like I, i'm in a very vulnerable state when i like read which is also why i like tend to hibernate like i don't post on social media i don't like communicating with anybody so it's like because i just feel very vulnerable and raw my emotions feel raw Stopping by to update you guys. I'm currently about to start chapter 24 and 25 of Empire Storms. I'm, I'm getting like anxiety sweats only because like I really do just detach from the entire world when like I read and I'm focused on reading. Like I have not responded to anybody's text messages. People are texting me and I'm just not responding. And then it's like, but I'm like, I need to because I can't just not exist from the world for a long period of time. Like, it's a weekday. Like, I have to do work. So I was, like, getting a little bit anxiety from that because I'm like, wait, I'm really just, like, closing myself off from the entire world right now. And it was making me, like, a little bit anxious. I, my energy, I feel like this, like, my energy is just so different just because my brain is not anywhere except the southern and northern continent. Like... My brain is no, my brain is in fictional continents. It's not in America, let alone New York City. What is New York City? I only know Rift Hold. <laughs> I only know Rift Hold and Alderaan and, 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 and Terrasin. I probably pronounced all of that wrong, all of that, but I don't care. I don't care. It's so funny because there's literally so many point of views in this story now so many like stories so many little stories that are also monumental like it's not like what it's we're not at the point of the story anymore where like one point of view like story arc is lesser than the other all of these bitches matter like everything is important so like I find myself like I'm getting enthralled with each POV. Like I just spent four chapters in Tower of Dawn, like at the edge of my seat. Now, I don't really know what people were talking about. This book is, I like this book. Like this book is good. Like I like the romance. Like I think it's like a fun, fresh, like new brewing romance that like we haven't had since like the first book. And I'm like, I like the banter. So like I'm here for it. So like I'm at the edge of my seat with this book. And like I'm enthralled, I'm in it. And then I'm like, boom, back to Empire of Storms. And then I open up chapter four, Empire of Storms. I'm like, wait, I forgot about the main character. I haven't had a POV for the main character with which what feels like two years, but it's probably just been like 15 chapters or probably just 10. I don't know. But like, I haven't seen this girl in mad long. I forgot what happened. I forgot what she was going through. But like, that's literally how I feel. Cause it's like, I'll get so entranced in like what each group or each character POV is doing that I completely forget what's happening with the other ones. And I just opened up and I was like, who's that? I was like, oh, main character. Okay. Okay. So I have two chapters in this and then I go back into this. Yeah. I'm not understanding the hatred. I'm not understanding the hatred. Like it's good. Like I like Tower of Dawn. Oh my god, I 
can't do this while you're watching. <laughs> I just feel as though I'll never understand where these authors get their imagination for these spice scenes. I'll never understand how you have a chapter's worth of imagination. deliveries have arrived look at how gorgeous she is so now I basically have the full set of the new covers I don't know why they think it's okay to kind of scratch my book up like this like I don't like that I don't like that but yeah okay so I got that and then I guess here's my Kindle I guess, should I unbox it now? I don't think I'm gonna set it up now because I'll probably set it up right before I need to start Kingdom of Ash. And then this is like the clear case that people have and then the charger. And here she is. What else is in here? Oh, so funny, haha. -ha. So funny, haha. -ha. It comes with a charger. So funny, haha. -ha. So funny. It comes with a charger and all I needed was a cube and I already have a bunch of cubes so I did not need to buy this but whatever this says it's a fast charger so I don't know if this one's a fast charger but this one says fast charger so I'm just gonna act like I I whatever I'm really struggling to like speak in general like when I had to go pick up these packages I was like what are what are greetings what are like what do I say to human beings I always get like that when I'm just like, when I'm like in, in the thick of a book, I forget how to be a human being. And it's just like, I forget how to communicate with other people. So in, in turn, I'm forgetting how to communicate with y'all. So I'm sorry if I'm like so off and weird. I guess I'll have to charge it. I guess I have to charge it. Cause I'm like, is, does this come off? What the hell is that? It's like 12 o'clock. I woke up at 11 because I went to bed last night at, I went to bed last night at like 4 a.m. because I was just in the thick of it. I got to the point in the tandem read where, um, where it's, you have to read Empire Storms from chapter 33 all the way to 51, which I think was like around almost 200 pages. So I was just like, I need to, I'm gonna bang this out. I'm gonna bang this out. And it was so, it was so good. I felt like I was watching a film. Like that's how it felt. But I decided to go to bed once I finished that and then switch back into Tower of Dawn this morning. But yeah, so I got like, I'm, oh, I'm a little bit tired, but it doesn't matter. Cause the only thing I'm gonna be doing is sitting down and reading. We're definitely finishing today because I have like 200 pages left in um, Empire Storms and then kind of like close to that in Tower of Dawn. 
So we're definitely finishing it today and we're banging it out. And then I'm probably gonna need like, like a just like a day's mental rest and then do Kingdom of Ash. My hair looks so stupid. I hate this. I could always tell in these books, like when it's like the start of like the end game, like the ending battle. We're about to enter that in Empire of Storms and it, it, it's, it's got me wanting to shit myself because the last time we were through like an ending battle in Queen of Shadows, that kills me. It made me deceased. Um, and I feel like this one is going to as well. And I don't even want to think about how this book is going to end, but I'm grateful that I don't have to wait to read the next one. But at the same time, that means nothing because it's a 980 page book. So they can leave us off on something so treacherous and not solve it until like page 500. <laughs> Precisely. Exactly. That's exactly what they could do. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Sarah. What? Like literally they could do that. I just realized looking at my stack that I forgot to buy Air of Fire. That's what I'm missing because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm missing Air Fire. I'll get it maybe next week or maybe in a few days. But yeah, and then once I have that, then the full set will be complete. It's not in the correct order, obviously, but I just wanted to see how they look like stacked up. And I think this is the most gorgeous thing. It's gonna look so beautiful when I have like a big enough room to have an actual like large huge bookshelf because like this is like cute and it works for the space to like just hold my books but like I need this to be like perfectly displayed and stacked and stuff like that because it's just so gorgeous. But... All right let's get back into this. between books feels like a Marvel moot like it it's Infinity War it's Infinity War every single book because the crossover <laughs> oh it's really like Captain America popping up out of nowhere to save the day like I forgot how many people are introduced in this book oh do I continue or do I switch I cannot breathe. I cannot, I cannot breathe. I cannot breathe. <laughs> Oh my god! 
Excuse me? <laughs> what is what is happening? What do you mean by that? pajamas and I just woke up it's 10 a.m. and I can't breathe and I have like I have like 80 pages left in this one I'm sick to my stomach I have like 100 pages left in this one I'm so sick to my stomach I'm so sick to my stomach my anxiety is like flaring in both books now in both books my anxiety is flaring in both books I literally had, I literally have chills. I can't, I have chills, I have chills. I think, I think it's time to go back into the next one. Which one am I going into? Oh, I can't breathe, I can't do this! I can't do this! I can't do this! Okay, I just finished chapter 57 in this. And I have eight chapters left of this and then I'm finished with this. And then I finish off Tower of John. And I'm so beyond scared. And I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this at all. And I hate myself for doing this to myself. I hate myself for putting myself in this predicament. <laughs> yes! He came back! Oh, shoot. last chapter and I already feel like I'm gonna throw up. I can't do this. 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 God! Oh my God! I mean I'm not even really here right now like I still think I'm gonna throw up 
but it's also because I haven't eaten anything today and it's two o'clock. Like that just, like what was that? What was that? Y'all didn't tell me like it was that. Like I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. Well, it's finished. I fi I finished this. I finished it. I fin I finished it. I still have like 10 left or 10, I can't speak. I still have like 10 chapters left of Tower of Dawn. Like that, that can't, that's not going, that can't, like I can't, I can't go on. Like I can't, I can't. That wasn't even legal. That shouldn't be legal, the amount of pain I was just put through. My shoulders have not yet relaxed. I, I'm so tense. I'm so tense. For a hundred pages, I've been tense. I've wanted to puke. I've wanted to vomit. So I swear Tower of Dawn better just like let me down easy. Let me have a moment's breather. Let me live. Yo, like, I swear to God, I swear, I swear, but I know it's not going to be, but I swear if there isn't a happy ending for every single one of them, for every single one of them, I swear if there's not a happy ending, I will never forgive Sarah J Mass because I don't think I'll be able to recover from that type of heartbreak. I... I don't want to read the, I don't want to read the last one because I feel like she's gonna do something so shady and she's gonna give one of them an unhappy ending and I'm not I don't even know if I can eat right now I don't think I can keep anything down like I'm literally so dramatic I'm sorry but my body is like convulsing and I and I I I feel like somebody has just stabbed me through the stomach. But I do need to eat because it's just going to make me feel worse. But like, I don't know if I should just finish Tower of Dawn and then cry in my bed and then eat. Or if I should eat something now. I swear, this woman is a genius though. Sarah J. Mass is a genius if I've ever seen one. She's a genius incarnate. She, she is a genius of this earth. I could never, I could never, I could never think to create such an emotionally taxing experience. My face is gonna be so swollen tomorrow. I don't even know. I don't even know if I'm putting this in. Y'all have never seen me this devastated. I don't even, I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to do. I am so sorry. But whoever made this reading order, this chapter reading order, I don't know why you thought it was okay to put us through that, to have us finish that, and then have to jump back into this because now all of a sudden I just read the first lines and I'm like, what are we talking about? Do you not know what just happened on the other continent? Do you not know what just happened on the other continent? And you don't, but I do. And now I have to read through these next eight chapters knowing, knowing what just occurred. So I will never forgive whoever made this chapter order because I don't understand that. You could have just saved the last two chapters you could have saved those last few pages until we, unless they're trying to, unless there's something that's going to rip me apart even more, which I doubt, which I doubt. I doubt they could do any of that with this and these characters, but like, they don't even know. They don't even know. Okay. I'm slightly recovered and I've read one chapter into Tower of Dawn and I'm no longer mad at the people that made the chapter order and I understand and I understand and it works absolutely perfectly and I definitely understand and it's a masterpiece in itself. But I do not understand how Sarah J Mass is just always one step ahead of me. Like no, no, 20 steps. She's 20 steps ahead. I think I know something and it's no, 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 no. I think something's gone away and it's no, no, no. It's been this way all along. It's, it, 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 it was a plan. It was a plan. The 
fact that I've been in pajamas this whole time and you guys have had to see me like this is absolutely horrendous. I probably should have like fixed my hair or something. I've completed it. I'm not even going to disrespect the series by giving ratings. It's beyond ratings. It is beyond the point. We're beyond the point of rating these books. Because you know it's beyond a five star. So I'm not even going to try to like come up with a number. There's no number. It's beyond numbers. It, like it literally leaves me so speechless. It literally leaves me so speechless. I like at the last chapter, like the second to last chapter, I guess. No, but technically it's the last chapter. Like chapter 68 of Tower of Dawn. I had a moment where I like smiled and I was like, oh wait, like this, this could all, this could all be good. And then I read that actual last chapter and then I remembered where we left off in this. That's what I was saying. And it, it definitely held true to the end where I was like, this was like depression and just getting punched and punched and punched and stabbed. And this was just love. This was like pure love and joy. It brought me back to the first book of Throne of Glass where like our only worries were falling in love and doing that. And, and, I, and I felt that and I was like, okay, this is a nice refresh from the depression hole of this book. And it ended off like that. Like I, I, just, I just giggled at the end, at the last chapter of this book until the real last chapter came and then I, then the anxiety flooded back in, which was a contrast to this, but my heart literally, the last lines of this versus the last lines of chapter 68 are so drastically different. So drastically different that it's actually so comical. Anywho, I just have to say, um, if you're planning to read this series because I've convinced you with my dramatics over this video and it's not even done because we still have, yeah. Yeah, I'm holding you guys hostage. I don't even know if anybody is gonna enjoy this vlog when I put it up. I'm doing this for me. <laughs> this is for me because I have nobody on this earth to talk to this about. And my only hope is that I will find my people through this. I can't go to Instagram. I can't go to TikTok. I can't go, I can't go anywhere else because I feel like nobody's really gonna understand. And I won't have the depth to really convey how much this is just so insanely insane. So if nobody cares about this video, I don't even care because this is truly for me. This is for me. And for anybody who, who wants to console me in this time of grief, especially that I will be needing after this. So I will be holding you guys hostage. I don't even know how long that, this is probably, this is probably gonna take me a whole other week. I hope it won't, but it probably will. But what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Oh, yes. So if I've convinced you to read this masterpiece work of art, the best series that I've read in my lifetime, the best series that I've read in my lifetime, if I've convinced you to start this work of art, then, I mean, I've already explained the reading order countless of times. You have to start with Throne of Glass. You read Assassin's Blade Fourth. Don't let anybody tell you different. It's called the romantic order because they do it that way so that it hits you emotionally the most and you want that emotional hit. Okay, you want that emotional hit because although it breaks you down to your core and soul, although it breaks you down, it just adds, it adds to the dramatics. Okay, so you're starting with Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, Assassin's Blade, Queen of Shadows. Now this must be done in tandem. I don't even understand how she released these books separately. I hope that the people that were reading this series in real time over this past decade didn't have to wait too long to get through this book after reading this book because that would be utter and pure torture to go through this and then have to do 600 pages of this. And it's not like this is bad. This is not a bad book. And I don't think, I don't, I don't, I don't think people need to be trashing this book as much as they're trashing it. It's just not as high stakes as this book is. So coming off of the literal high and gut-wrenching stab wound that is this book, to go into this light, airy romance, it, it would leave me as well being like, what is this? But reading them in tandem, <laughs> I'm so dramatic. This is so annoying. But reading them in tandem, reading them in unison is truly a work of art. And the people that have matched up the chapters, like the way that my soul would settle 
when I would read something in this book, it would be a major thing happening. And then I would go to this book and I'd be like, la di da da And they would mention, they would mention our queens and kings. They would mention the people fighting for their lives in this book. And I would just be like, oh my God, it's just like a thread. It's just like a thread and everything's like so connected. And like, it just, it just brings everything together at the end because although this left you off heart wrenching, this leaves you off with so much hope like so much hope that it's like I'm glad that I got to that hope very soon after getting through this because if I had to go through if I had to go through like the up and down of this before getting to that hope at the end I probably would have broke I, I would have broke down I, I wouldn't have been able to do it so you must read them in tandem I will not allow you to do it any other way and if you hate the series and you didn't read it in tandem, then I'm just going to blame you and not even listening to your opinions. There's no other way to do it. I believe Sarah herself, this, this genius of a god, meant for us to do it this way. And it was probably just that she, a publishing company, would not allow her to publish a 13,000, 13,000? No, 1,300 page book and get away with it. So she had to split it up. But she knew. She knew what we the fans would do and the tandem read was created and it's the best thing possible. So yes, those are my opinions. Wow, wow. I'm like looking at this book with kind of like fear but also, also kind of excitement. Like I'm gonna speak so candidly right now. I have no idea what emotions you guys are gonna see from me in the reading of this journey. Because as you know, and have you seen from this, I'm so dramatic. I'm so dramatic that I might fall into a hole of depression. I may, which is good that I'm putting this up. That way you guys can reach out. You can reach, I might need to be reached out to. I was in fact in a lot of pain and suffering and a little bit of a depression, but it's okay. It's been a few days and I'm better now. You guys don't need to check in. I'm better. I might be in so much pain and I know that but I'm just hoping and praying, I'm hoping and praying, I'm hoping and praying. And what's guiding me through this is that hope and that prayer that Sarah is going to let us have a happy ending. That she is going to let this main character that has been through it and is still going through it, might I add. That she's going to let her have a happy ending to the fullest extent that it needs to be like I need it to be like no frown ever touches her face she's beaming 24 7 happiness happiness for the whole crew and it's that hope that these final pages will be that that is pushing me towards this but it's also kind of the knowing feeling that she has to make something go wrong that something has to go wrong and I feel like someone is going to be lost and I don't, and I'm scared. I'm so scared because I don't, I don't know if I could do loss. I don't know if I could do that. I'm trying to decide if I should like try to be a human being and like do something like exit my home or something like that. But like every part of me doesn't want to do that. Like every part of me is like, just go back in, which is like really dangerous. I fall into these really dangerous habits where like I genuinely isolate myself from the entire existence of the world. It gets to the point where I'm so fine with that, where I'm like, fine with just like drifting until I finish this and then reality sets in and then all the concept and then all the consequences of me drifting and isolating comes crashing back when everybody's like you went ghost you didn't respond and I'm like sorry I was in another universe <laughs> I was on another continent I was fighting a war okay what were you doing sitting down going to work going to your nine to five I was fighting a war I was in an army I was trudging through the depths of the world, fighting in a battle with my sword and my blade and my bow and arrow and my hatchet, sailing across the skies, flying, sailing in boats. I was doing it all. What were you doing? What were you doing? Sitting at home. I was at war. Okay. I need to go to the grocery store. Like I lack food. I don't have any food. You guys are literally about to die. I need to get you a charger. But I decided to just get broccoli and then this like salad kit thing because I haven't had greens and veggies in a while. And if I'm gonna isolate, I might as well isolate healthily and not 
shirk on my vitamins. Oh, you're gonna turn off. Okay, so that's what I got. Yes, and then Parmesan cheese. Okay, good. Don't mind the unbuttoned fly. I literally cannot sit down in these pants unless I unbutton them, but I'm also gonna be walking. It's been a while since I last spoke to you guys. It's like, like a while since you saw that last clip. It's currently like Tuesday of the next week. I think I haven't spoken to you guys in like four or five days, like the whole weekend, nothing yesterday. And it's just because Raina had came back from vacation. So like that whole past week, I was home alone. So I was just like grind mode, reading, reading, reading. But then I was like, oh, okay, like I want to get back into my groove. I want to chat and all that stuff. So like my reading has been on and off sporadically, but I'm still like trying to hammer it in. I'm definitely going to finish it this week because it's Tuesday and um, also we'll discuss the Kindle, but it's Tuesday. It's waking up. 30% through, which doesn't sound like a lot, but I'm on page 288. But 30% means I'm 20% from 50%, and 50% means I'm 50% from 50%. That to me sounds like we're gonna finish it before the end of this week, especially at the rate that I'm going where I'm like really trying to take the time to read every day. But I've just been having more distractions. Yeah, I haven't talked to you guys in a while, also because it's like the beginning of the books are always like a bit slow. Like, not that they're boring, but it's just like, okay, like we're building up. Like, we left off on a cliffhanger, but we're still like building up for the like the intensity of this next book. Like, obviously, we're not starting off with extreme intensity. So it's like my reactions in the beginning, like in the first like 300 pages, aren't that interesting. Only this morning I woke up and it was like the first time that I've cried in this book since. I've just been I've just been doing that and I've been loving my Kindle. I love this thing so much. Thank you guys for convincing me. Thank you guys for convincing me. This is the best purchase I've ever made on Amazon. The best purchase. I finally, for the first time, tried this out like on the train. Because I had to go somewhere, but I was like, oh, but I'm in the midst of reading. And I was like, okay, well, let's take the let's take the Kindle on the train. And normally I hate reading on the train because I hate having to take my physical book out on the train and then having to like, you know, hold it and if the train is packed and everybody's seeing what I'm reading and like, it's like cumbersome and if the book is heavy, it's just like a lot. So like I never want to do it. And then, and then if I have to like get off quickly off the train, like I don't want to throw my book in my bag. Like I always have it in my book sleeve, making sure it's not messed up. So I pulled my Kindle out on the train and I was just like, train ride flew by. I was like, this is phenomenal. And then yesterday I woke up and I had to go to the gym, but I was like, oh, I just want to wake up and read. But I was like, wait, who said I can't? So I took my Kindle with me to the gym. And as I was walking on the treadmill, instead of like listening to music or watching or watching YouTube, or sometimes I would like scroll on threads, instead of doing that, I read. Phenomenal. Like it, I did a whole, like it took, the entirety of 12, 3.30 took like a whole chapter. So I'm loving my Kindle. Like I just take it around. I'm just like, doo -doo 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 -doo. like my neck doesn't hurt. I can do so many different positions. So I'm an avid stand. The charge lasts so long. It's not like I'm reading off my phone during the battery life. I, I love it. I love it. Y'all convince me. So if you need to be convinced, definitely get a Kindle. I mean, you missed Prime Day, but I still think it's worth if you like to read like a lot. But anyways, I'm coming back to y'all today because... It's already like five o'clock. Like, I don't know why I decided I wanted to leave my house at five o'clock. The sun's gonna go down in like three hours, but I have to go to Zara. I have to go into the city to go to Zara to return these two tops. So I'm gonna go do that because it's gonna be 30 days in like two days. So I need to get that done. And then I think on the way home, I'm gonna stop at Trader Joe's because I've run out of food. And I already spent money ordering like Thai food last night and I have no leftovers. Because like I was really like scraping like I didn't want to get too much stuff because I just didn't want to waste money But I ended up just getting enough that like I I didn't have I don't have any leftovers to eat tonight So I need to go to Trader Joe's and get some food so that I can also save money and not order anymore and stuff like that That's the plan. It should be like quick like it shouldn't take too long to do that because I'm just gonna be in and out of each place Like I'm, I'm not going to Zara to shop. I have no money to shop with like there's physically I cannot go to Zara and shop and then we'll come back and do what I've been doing like it's really just wake up read go to sleep read 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 I spend my Mondays like Fridays I spend my Fridays in a box in my heart and my whining I put my pinings on pedestals to the keeping them grounded what's that mountain to nothing let's make some something from nada let's go to Gucci and Prada okay I finished with Zara that was fast and now I'm heading to Trader Joe's 
But I just saw like a bonchon Korean fried chicken spot. And it's taking everything in me not to turn back and go get some Korean fried chicken. But like the whole point of this is to save money and get groceries. So full of sugar watch it everything go down that's a long way pray that i never see the ground fuck a long day i swear there's a better me around just gotta grab it this is magic this is switch from lost and found make my baggage do a backflip stick the land and hit the town with my homie smoking spliffs until our lungs burst we some sung birds who made our way out of the cage we all some dumb nerds probably should get to act in our age but where's the fun in that we going fishing for dreams are kept intact skipping plans playing hooky on school days you make your place in the world don't let them try to tell you otherwise i've returned that truck was hard especially the last one because i went to another grocery store and i got really like heavy dense stuff and i only do leg day like it's every other day is leg day never do arms i still have to do push-ups on my knees i don't lift weights so it's just not it just never works out for me i think my shoulders are also very weak so it was a lot but i made it here and now i have food i spent more than i expected to <laughs> when do i not i didn't spend it's not like i spent too much at trader joe's and then too much at the other grocery store it's like combined it was like oh, okay like you did all this in one day but it still feels different than like ordering out because i have a lot of food it's gonna last me a good week and a half i'll give you a quick little haul not an actual haul just like i feel like i haven't talked about the things that i've been into at trader joe's lately we got three of these Raina put me on to these Sweet potato gnocchis, and they're all melting, so I need to put them in the freezer, but these are so no, good. because if they sell it out, and I try to go for <laughs> and I can't find it, I'm going to be very upset. Sell it out, y'all, but leave enough for us. Like, no, it is so beyond good. You just need to try it, and then, like, even if you don't trust my word. You just need to go try it and then I'll, I'll, I'll be happy to be like, I told you so. I told you so. It's so good. And normally I don't like pre-made pasta from Trader Joe's because I'm like, I can make it. Like, you know what I'm saying? And normally they don't season it well. This is like seasoned. The sauce that this just like simmers in is so beyond good. <laughs> it's so beyond good. And then like the sweet potato of it all. So good. Like, it's so good. And it's so quick, you just pop it in the microwave and it's done. So I got three of those <laughs> because I'm gonna be running through them. And we already have two in the freezer. So like now we have five stocked up. I got that. I was really like, I was perusing the frozen section. And I was like, wait, new. Hello. <laughs> Is that a knock? Should I check? Or was it upstairs? Your face is. Like, was it up? I feel like. Hello? Let me check. Okay. Nobody. Nobody, nobody wants to see us together. I want nobody greater oh. to church. I don't know that one. Okay. And then I saw this in the frozen section. I've never seen this before, what? but it looks like a scallion pancake. But they're calling it green onion pancakes, which I don't know what that means, but. They said it's Taiwanese and scallion pancakes, I think, are Taiwanese. And yeah, and I love scallion pancakes. So I was like, let me try this out. I was really just going for like trying out new frozen stuff, especially while I'm reading. Cause like while I'm reading, it's like, I don't want to stop to cook a whole grand meal. I just want to quit, 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 but I don't want it to like taste nasty. So I got this burrata prosciutto and arugula flatbread. Cause on the picture, it looks really cute. It looks like gorge. It looks like it tastes good. And normally I make like my own flatbread, I guess you could presume. I make my own pizzas with the pita and then I do the tomato sauce and the cheese. But I have to be in a phase for that. Like I have to be in a mood because the amount of like for in order for me to buy enough cheese to make one, I need to buy enough cheese to make five. So it's like then I always end up wasting cheese and I'm wasting sauce. It's just waste. So I want to try this. And then I got another flatbread type pizza thing. It's like a French style flatbread with creme fraiche, ham, caramelized onion, and Swiss style Gruyere cheese. <laughs> Gruyere. Gruyere cheese. And then I got butternut squash. This is great. You throw it in the oven, season it up a bit, eat it. Real good. I got salmon. I think I'm going to eat this tonight. It's already pretty much thawed. So I'm going to eat this with some salad. 
this pre-seasoned salmon is real great it's real great it's got like it comes with this herb butter <laughs> so nice i was gonna get the pre-seasoned shrimp as well and the pre-seasoned chicken okay the oh, frick what's it called what's it called now it's losing me now it's losing me now it's losing me <laughs> it's losing me frick is it tikka masala no okay like the oh, it's losing me <laughs> <laughs> shawarma okay okay <laughs> so there's a pre-seasoned shawarma flavored chicken at trader joe's it is phenomenal the seasonings on that john just go so crazy it's so juicy it's flavorful it's amazing so i went there anticipating getting some shawarma chicken but they were out because everybody knows it's good. They were out. I got holla bread instead though. <laughs> I don't know why I needed holla bread. I don't need holla bread. It's it's definitely not gonna help my gym excursions. But I love snack. I love snacking up. That was my whole my whole middle school. I survived on holla bread. Like I would go to the cafeteria, I would skip the meals, and I would just go to the holla bread station, eat two rolls with butter every single day. It was, it was private school like we had a whole didn't you didn't have holla station it wasn't just the station dedicated to holla but it was a station of all assortment of breads yeah, like sourdough all of these you went to the private school yeah had no, no yeah we had the holla bread and everybody loved the holla bread like everybody loved the holla bread like you had to get there fast or it would be Gone. You had to you had to rush down to lunch. Oh my god. And then they would do they would do some real stupid like I don't know if I ever told they would do some real stupid like white people stuff like on Thanksgiving. On thank did I tell you this? On Thanksgiving, like or like the day that we would have school like before Thanksgiving, before break, they would stop regular lunch and they would only give us tomato soup and holla bread. <laughs> Our only option of food was tomato soup and a hollow bread what? because it was meant to like emulate people that are wanting for things and Wait, are suffering what? so that we can give thanks Wait a minute. and be grateful. Really it, they were so problematic. Starving. <laughs> no, like we weren't like you could go back for seconds. For tomato. <laughs> <laughs> like, <what are> <laughs> I love me the phone home. They are starving me because they want me to be grateful. Like what? They would do the weirdest stuff and like I look back at the corner, I'm like, y'all were so wrong for that. Because no, it's Thanksgiving and all of a sudden you're like, we need to we we just want you to eat less so that you can see what it feels what other people are going through. Don't you hear? Just like them actually having so much control over the fact that like, <laughs> you can eat the- What if you were allergic to tomato? Tomato. Now you just have hala. Now you just have hala, which is what I was surviving on, but now you're forced. I wasn't forced, I did it by choice. And then from the random grocery store, I got these frozen meatballs. I got my cereal, almond milk. I got more grits, I'm addicted. Crab cakes, I got bananas, I got olive oil. Oh, and I got farina, <laughs> I got farina. Because I believe farina, is farina like similar to porridge or are they the same thing? Mm, maybe just similar. Similar, yeah. Cause like, I was gonna get oatmeal, but like I was, I thought, like I looked down at this and instantly I got flashbacks to my grandmother's handing me a bowl of steeping porridge. And it's just like, and I'm scooping it with my condensed, not condensed, evaporated milk. And I'm just enjoying it with my, little 10 year old self enjoying some porridge. So I got some farina to try to emulate that. It looks like it's gonna be like the same texture as porridge. That's my grocery haul. Okay.
Yeah. My life been looking gorgeous. Take one day at a time. I pray I never have to force it. Got bad women for me. Tell they man he need to force it. I'm standing with the torch gripped in my hand. I'm hella calm. The other palm hold my fortune. I live ready to die. My mama hate me. Sounded morbid. Growing up, my daddy got caught up in chasing fortune. He'd probably be more proud if I was a doctor or a lawyer. But I'm paid to be aligned with only living in the moment. And I can't have my target. Want me locked behind these bars. I'm in a spot that I can't conquer. Because we live in. And I'm addicted to feeling like I'm invincible. Take the bag and I'm tripling it. The flow yeah. on the pinnacle. Vivid dreams of a miracle. Where What's I'm fine? not out of mind. Lately. I'm so out of mind. It's hard to want to go outside because they be killing off my kind. But I gotta hold my head and keep it loyal to the players. Don't let them rob you of protection of yourself. It's lying for a check. I call it bribing for the flex. To the label, drop your f to bank, collect on your advance. Trim more lightly because the man don't give a f about your plan. To see the world and feed your fam. The block is hot. It's hard to stand. I'm 38% of the way through and page 374 which like feels like i feel like i'm still on track to like finishing this before friday because i'm getting it to page 500 by today like that's the goal which i don't know if that's i don't know if that will be part two yet because the book is broken up into two parts oh the second part is at page 587 so maybe the goal for today will be to get to the second part of the book part two reading this has me thinking and this is gonna be like such an ignorant stupid thing of me to say obviously like this book is about war right but it's like a fantasy so it's like it takes place like it's supposed to be like i keep saying medieval but like like game of thrones era you know what i'm saying european game of thrones era like it's like that vibe and obviously they're at war and i was like it just seems so inconvenient to not be able to it just seems like all pro it seems like a lot of these problems could be solved if just shoot a little text, email even. Even if this was like the early 2000s and we could shoot a little email, be like, hey, no, 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 I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm alive, <laughs> I'm alive. Literally somebody said Kingdom of Ash could have gone from 980 pages to 80 pages if the main characters just had machine guns. <laughs> like, war done, <laughs> like, they're really over here with hatchets and swords. No wonder your problems are so hard. No wonder it's so hard to fight one person, babes. Like, if the main character just had, like, a little pistol. Just, whoop. Book would have been over. One thing that I truly hate in literature, in books, is like when somebody winks. When they'll be like, she winked and smiled. I just hate winking. Like, maybe not in real life, but I hate winking in books. I hate reading it because I picture it as them being like, like it's a serious conversation or it's like a, it's like a tense moment and all of a sudden they're just like, like I cannot imagine a wink any other way. Like, what did she say? She nodded then winked at the shifter right so now i'm picturing that in my head as <laughs> i don't want to do this i don't want to do this anymore i'm on chapter 90 can i get <laughs>
supposed to be this way. <laughs> like, I wasn't even supposed to speak to you guys today. Like, hence the pajamas and it's my bonnet. Like, I don't even care at this point. I don't even care. But that just took me, like, that just shook me to my core. That I was just like, what? What is happening? And I, and I said, like, I, I needed a happy ending for everybody. And this is not, it's not going to be happy. And I just think it's really unfair. If you've read the book and you read chapters 89 and 90, I just think it's really, really unfair. <laughs> like, it's really, really unfair. <laughs> I have no words because it's just so not fair. Like, it's just so not fair. Like, they don't deserve that. They don't deserve that. That's all. Like, I literally was not planning on speaking to you guys. And hey, like, the next time I was planning on speaking to you was when I finished the book because I'm 76% of the way through. But today is Saturday. And I'm just like, this is all I'm going to do today. So hopefully I finish it today. And I'm just going to talk to you when it's done. But I feel like this is just the start and it's just going to keep going. It's just going to keep getting worse. Because I still have like 200 kind of pages left. I feel like I'm broken. And I just feel like that was so wrong of Sarah to do. Like that's just so not fair. That's just so not fair. And I love to the more I think about it, I just can't, I can't, I don't even want to continue. I made a freaking, I was making the pizza, whatever this frick this is, to the oven right now. And I think I have to stop reading because I'm like nauseous and I, I won't be able to eat anything. Literally shattered. Literally shattered. <laughs> and it's like, they never really had a happy life, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what makes it so much worse. Like, it's not like they really, like, lived a happy life. Like, <laughs> the sacrifice was so beautiful. And it's like, they did it for the world. They did it for the better world. I wish they got to, like, live. I was like, bitch, you deserve to live. <laughs> like, what do you mean? You deserve to live. <laughs> she deserved to live. Like, no. No. Mm -mm. No. No. Mm -hmm. No. I feel like I know what's about to happen. And I'm delaying it. Because no. If this happens, I'm going to be so upset. No. Mm -hmm. No. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> she was done like I thought that she was done like I did not think that she could she could like hit again and now I do not trust 
that's that it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse and i do not trust i do not trust that i can make it through this did you guys not did you guys not hear me beg did you guys not hear me beg at the beginning of this book at the end of the last two books like i just want a happy ending for all for all like when i said all i meant all i did i have not eaten anything today i made like this will be my break like really i know that my mental state needs a break right now like and for the two seconds that i'm explaining this to you this will be my break my face hurts my head is pounding my eyes i think i i probably need to drink water like the amount of tears that i've dispelled it's probably making me de dehydrated but i was making this remember i made it i took one bite and i had to throw it out it's just not it's not my cup of tea and I think especially with the nausea, it was just like a lot of flavors going on. So I haven't eaten and it's five o'clock. So I made this one instead and we'll try this. If this doesn't work out, then so be it. I just won't eat until I finish, but it's like, it's like always the ones that just didn't get a chance. It's like, why? Time is really just not, I don't understand it anymore. I don't understand anything anymore. I need to find my water so I can drink something. I feel like I'm like a lifeless body. I feel like I'm a wraith. I don't even care. Like, like the bonnet. I don't, like, I don't care. Like, because at this point, like, nothing. Where is my water? Where is my water? Guys, where's my water? Guys, oh, it's right here. At this point, not much else matters. Like, I do... I, I, I am thoroughly, I'm on, oh my god, I'm on page 864, so I have less than I, no, I do, I have more, I think there's 980, so I have like around 120 pages left, and I'm genuinely not, like I am not prepared, because if she takes anybody else from me, I'm gonna be so pissed. I'm gonna be so pissed. I'm sorry guys. Like I don't even know. <laughs> like this vlog has been going on for like two weeks now. And it's like I feel like I've traumatized half of you guys. Like it's just been me crying, sobbing, and being depressed. But I'm glad I have you guys here with me. Even if you're not gonna watch, even if you clicked off after the first time I shed tears. I'm glad you're here, <laughs> whoever is here. I forgot to mention to you guys when it happened. Cause it was just, there was too much going on. But I think, because people say that Sarah created like a multiverse. So it's like the ma the massiverse, the, the Sarah J massiverse. Because all of her series is, are supposed to be like kind of semi-connected. That's what people say. And I think I noticed one of the connections in, you know, I think I noticed one of the connections, but I haven't read the other series, so I don't know. So now I really need to read Akatar because I feel like it was probably a connection to Akatar that I didn't recognize, but it was like highlighted. There's one thing like I like and I dislike about it on the Kindle, and I don't know if I could turn it off. If there's a way to turn it off, let me know. But I'm also deciding whether or not I like it. Like when you could see where something like it's like the highlight section, but like if it's something that a lot of people have highlighted like i think if it's like over like thousands of people have highlighted it it shows up on my screen as like ten thousand people highlighted so it showed up that that one sentence showed up that i believe was a crossover to probably akatar and it was like ten thousand people highlighted it because they probably noticed something that i don't feel a bit left out but yeah and then they just released i think it was two days ago they just released the next book cover for the third book i believe in crescent city and people are saying they feel like there's a connection to the main character in this book because of the way that the cover looks i think i don't know when crescent that crescent city book comes out but i have a lot to read because i want to get through the the chain of events is i'll finish this and then i want to get through akatar as it's because they're still releasing Akatar, but I want to get through like what's released in Akatar 
and then Crescent City. And like hopefully that I could do that before that third book comes out, just in case there is a little crossover. We have like 30 pages left, okay? 30 pages left. The battle is over, which means this is about to be 30 pages of just Memorian. Is that, is that the way? This is gonna be 30 pages of tearing me to shreds. These 30 pages might be my true unending as I say goodbye to these characters. Okay, I'll get back to you again. This time once I finish, these were the moments that I knew would come that I was waiting for, for these past thousands and thousands of pages with all these characters introduced and like their connections. Just to have them separate one last time. And like hear their farewells. I love a good full circle moment. I love a good full circle moment. And one thing the Throne of Glass series will do is give you a full circle moment. A full 360. No 180s, full 360s. I don't want to finish it. It's too, I just, I wish I could live in these last three chapters. These last three chapters of utter happiness. I wish I could live through that. Like, I, again. It's the same words. <laughs> It's the same words. Her last words. Oh my god, I love Sarah, but I hate Sarah. It's the same words. Oh my god, okay. Okay. You guys can't even see. You guys can't even see me. And maybe that's for the best. But. Before I get into like speaking freely about like spoilers and stuff, I don't even know. I probably should have waited till tomorrow to talk to you guys. I literally feel I feel so broken, and I know y'all are gonna call me dramatic. I know my family watching this is gonna call me dramatic. I literally feel like I just lived this. I just lived this. We went through so much. We went through so much. We went through so much. I really don't even know what to say to you guys, bro. Like, I'm still in this freaking bonnet, and I'm just like, I don't know what to say. I'm gonna say my final words until I, like, I think I wanna, like, talk about stuff that might be spoilers. If I have not convinced you <laughs> to read this series from my agonizing screams and cries, like maybe my agonizing screams and cries probably like turned you away, but don't let that turn you away, okay? Because there's only pain because it was once good. You know what I'm saying? Like there, there was only pain because you know, you know, it's so, it's so beyond, like it's so beyond good. I would say, because a lot of you guys are asking, like, what Sarah J. Mass do I get into first? Akatar, Throne of Glass, or Crescent City. You can start either with Akatar or Throne of Glass. I started with Throne of Glass, obviously. So I don't know what it would be like to start with Akatar because I haven't read Akatar. But I've heard a lot of people say that Akatar is really heavily focused on, like, the romance. Like, it's a lot of a romance to see. You know, like, it, it has a lot more romance in it, whereas Throne of Glass has romance, but it's definitely, like, a high fantasy. Like, picture the epitome of Game of Thrones is what the Throne of Glass series is. Like, it's very much more so about, like, the history and, like, you know, it's, it's, the romance is important and the romance is there, and when the romance is there, it's like, oh, it's amazing, but... There's definitely like a lot more, there's a lot more to the series and there's a lot that you have to like remember and like keep tabs on and stuff like that. So some people don't realize that when they go from Akatar to Throne of Glass and they're expecting the same vibe. So just know that Throne of Glass is definitely more of like a high fantasy and I think Akatar is more of like a romanticy 
type vibe. Do with that as you will. You could start with either one, but you're not supposed to start with Crescent City because that's like the newest one, you know? And now I feel like I need to get into spoilers. In case you missed that warning, the rest of this video will include spoilers. So please make sure you click off if you've not read the book or if you're planning to read the book, the rest of this will include spoilers. But you've also made it to the end, like I just only said a few things, so you're not missing much. But if you read the book and you want to come back later on to this video and watch the spoiler parts that I talked about, you could always do that. But yeah, thanks for coming along with me, guys. I really hope you got a good laugh out of this because best believe I was dying of laughter editing this. Because why do I, why am I like this? Why am I like this? But yeah, thanks for coming along. And I'll see you in the next one. Unless you're continuing. If you're continuing, then... <sighs> It's more tears over there. <laughs> so, good luck. The spoiler part that I just wanted to say, I don't even know if I had more to say. Like, maybe tomorrow when I... I'm gonna spend the rest of the night going through TikTok, bawling my eyes out, listening to my sad music playlist, and probably buying a guitar. Like, I don't... Like, I feel so empty. I feel so empty and just, like, I don't know what to do right now. I want to reread it. But also, I don't want to reread it. I don't want to go through that. Okay, but the part that really broke me... The part that really broke me was this throne of glass. The final line, Delana Sardathian, the king's champion, he mused. What about it? I like the sound of it, he said, shrugging. Do you want to know what your first mission will be? She looked at his golden brown eyes and all the promises that lay within and linked her arm with his as she smiled. Tell me tomorrow. Okay. And then let's go, let's go to our final words of Kingdom of Ash. Rowan followed her as he had his entire life, long before they had ever met, before their souls had sparked into existence. To whatever end, Fireheart, he glanced sidelong at her. Can I give you a suggestion for what we should rebuild first? Aelin smiled, and eternity opened before them, shining and glorious and lovely. Tell me tomorrow. Like, you're so stupid! <laughs> like, where? You can't even see me, so now I just look stupid crying to you guys. I need to go to. <laughs> I will go to the dining room. Okay, this is a spoiler, so it's going at the end. But I just. I'm so broken. I had to read this line. Broken me. On page 946. Why? I'm gonna read the whole paragraph. Like, this is reading time. I don't care. And smiling through her tears, laughing in joy and sorrow, Manon laid that precious flower from the waist upon the ground. In thanks and in love. <laughs> so they would know. So Asterin would know. In the row, she and her hunter and child walked hand in hand. That they had made it. That they were going home. I just think what gets me is like the full circle moment. But it's like she's still the same. You know what I'm saying? Like she's still the same person. But it's like that tying up at the end. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Like, the goodbye between Aelin and Dorian and Kale. I feel like... Whatever. I, I, I don't think I have words right now, really. I had knew going into this, like, that Manon and Dorian was, like, a vibe, was, like, a thing. And I was expecting it. Like, I knew all of the romantic relationships going in. That's the only thing I let myself... That I let spoil for myself, because it's like, okay, it's fine. I like having that to look forward to, but what? We were left at that, like we were left with like that openness, which like makes sense. Cause they're both like, bro, like when, no, but it was, it was when Dorian, it was when Dorian said, or when it, or when it said on page nine, whatever, it said Dorian smiled and found himself for the first time in a while looking forward to tomorrow. And I'm just like really like, 
I need like a spinoff. I need like a fan fiction where Dorian, because he's like, he's happy, but he's still going through it. And Manon is still going through it. Because damn, like, they're still grieving, you know? And I, I wish I saw a world where they were like, holy happy, like Aelin and Rowan got to be. But also it's like, fuck, bro. Like the 13 are really gone. Like the 13 didn't even get to make it back to the waste, which I feel like was so upsetting. But I get it because their sacrifice was what was able to get everybody back to the waste. No, but that really broke me. Like the third, all of the 13, you took this girl's entire livelihood. Like I feel like everything Manon loved was literally stripped from her. And Gabriel was the other one. And it's like, we only know, we only really knew Gabriel for like, oh, I guess he was in the other books. We, we only knew Gabriel for two books, really like knew him well. But it's still just like the idea, the idea that like, he had worked so hard to gain Adion's trust and then like he only had it for like a little moment and then you could tell that made him like so happy and then he just sacrificed like bitch fuck you fuck you like I wish I was there I wish I was there I would have happily fought the Valge I would have fought the Valge I would have fought Erwin just to be there like I would rather be in Terrasen right now than be on earth I would rather be in Terrasen than be on earth I would. I would. I think that's enough. I'm gonna go like cry in my bed, watch TikToks. I actually need to eat food. I need to eat dinner, but like I'm not hungry, but I know I'm only not hungry because I'm really emotional.